Most of us want to add AC power to our van. And we can do that with the inverter charger through the Multi Plus 2 that we've been talking about in this power series. And I want to take you through just a really brief introduction on how I got my AC sub panel connected up with an outlet and testing that outlet. Let's get started on it. Here is the AC in on the Multi Plus 2. And currently it's connected with 8.3. And that is to my shore power, the smart plug, and as if I was at a KOA, I have a 30 amp in my garage. Why did I choose 8.3? Well, if you recall from the first Multi Plus 2 video, I talked about having a um, 10 gauge ferrules stuck inside of one of these holes. So I went with 8.3 just precautionary while I'm doing tabletop testing. I may still go back to 10.3. Now over here is 10.3. And it's working, it's fine, no issues. Uh, and again, this is not Romex 10.3, this is Marine Wire 10.3. Okay, uh, line one is your hot. PE is your physical earth, so your ground, white, neutral. And we follow along and we get to this little setup here so we can look at the AC panel. On this panel, there are a couple features. They provide these two wires for DC connectivity. You'll see the panel lit up here in a bit. This provides the power for those little LED lights to tell you what circuits are on. Here again is where the 10.3 is coming in. Hot here. Neutral. Earth ground. These are ring terminals with heat shrink on them. And I haven't obviously I used my heat gun on them. I don't know if it's my permanent connection or not, but again, good enough for demonstration purposes. Now, I thought I'd show you uh, connecting the hot for an outlet. So I have 14.3. Again, this is not Romex. This is um, marine wire. And we have, this is the little uh, power indicator for the green light. This is my ring terminal on the 14 gauge wire. I have the screw and it's a little spiked grippy washer thing. Get that through the ring. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's get that through the ring. And into this first breaker. There we go, that's snug. Now that we have this hot connected, note I already had them connected. The neutral is on the neutral bus bar. The ground is on the ground bar. And again, those are set up with ring terminals. Now let's move around to the front and look at the actual outlet. You can see here I have a Leviton outlet. I've already got the white and ground connected. These are stripped back about a half an inch, I'd say. And in this particular model, when you unscrew the screw, the little uh, brass or metal piece here comes away from the backing. You put your wire in and screw down your screw. Now note this is actually a square driver. Number one, I think. It's a square driver versus a Phillips or a flathead. Now 
we have our little electric box here. And we can line up our screws. Come here, you. That was my aim. Pretty terrible, I guess. There we go. Get that centered as best we can. Get these snug. We have the face cover. And here is flathead, of course. And make them nice and neat, up and down or left and right. You know, because we are particular. There we are. Now this system is ready for a test. To get this test going, we need to turn on our system. Smart BMS coming up. Links distributors. Multi plus two just clicked on. And there's no shore power yet, so I'm gonna plug that in. I don't have to, to prove this test. But let's do it. Come with me to the AC panel. Now that we're here, let's turn on the main breaker. And this is one of those little LEDs I was talking about that's powered by the DC power. Uh, that is on a two amp fuse, by the way and uh, the instructions say that can be a one to two amp fuse. The circuit that we connected to this switch is here. So now it is on and you can see the little light came on here. This is a GFCI switch. Okay, we can test it. There you go, see no power, reset. And we're back in business. And so you can see this thing working. I'll plug in this fan. Ooh, cobwebs. Huh. Plug in this fan. Let's go for a little ride here. And turn the fan on. And there we are. And I'll leave you with this fan briefly. and we'll unplug shore power. And the fan is still running with shore power disconnected. So we are getting power through the inverter. There it is inverting. And there you see shore power is disconnected. It's pretty much that simple. Now in the test circuit over there, I did obviously plug those wires directly into it instead of having little jumpers and wire nuts in your house. You're probably seeing the old fashioned screw, screw caps, Ugh, those things are terrible. You'll never go back once you start using a lever nut. Anyway, no lever nuts in there because I'm just going straight into the outlet. 
If I'm not stringing another outlet on there, then I don't need to do anything more than that. And that's it. Now we have AC power off of our inverter on the MultiPlus 2 system and uh, with all the link stuff. And we can see that it, it in fact gives 120 volt AC power with or without the shore power being plugged in thanks to this wonderful set of batteries. Well, we'll see you on the next one.